Okay. Okay, so uh, should I repeat what I've said just now because the recording just started? Uh, yeah. So uh, just give a short uh, 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 short uh, uh, short statement. Okay, the purpose of this teaching is to remove blockages to uh, 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 wrong doctrines that block our faith uh, in God's love block our faith in God's love so that we cannot have divine healing or deliverance or have breakthrough when we do spiritual warfare okay so we need to remove all the blockages of wrong teaching okay uh, uh, even though we can have uh, uh, walking very close to God we always uh, worship we pray two hours a day and we uh, do all the deliverance inner healing and everything but yet we got no breakthrough no success it can be due to false teaching or packages okay uh, inside us inside our, our mind okay so so uh, okay without further ado let me open up the PowerPoint Okay, okay, so now I hope you can see the PowerPoint. If there's any problem with the sound or the uh, any problem, you can just text uh, on the chat uh, to let me know. Okay, because I won't know. Uh, sometimes I can see everything is well here, but on your side, maybe something wrong. Okay, I hope my voice is locked enough, locked and clear enough. All right. Um, okay, so I have this. Uh, this PowerPoint can be given to you if you go to my telegram channel I will put it there so you can click on this uh, this link this blue color link and then you then inside there are about 12 or 13 video okay uh, this video are, are actually training uh, YouTube training okay YouTube uh, 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 topics that will transform you from a sheep into a demon crushing lions and prophetic spirit led eagles okay uh, 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 so, so I think uh, it's very different from what you normally heard from other teachers. Okay, the way I teach is very different. Uh, uh, and then uh, you can join my Telegram channel t dot me slash Timothy Tank two zero one one, and you can also click and join my YouTube channels as a subscriber. So when you become a subscriber, and then you also must. Uh, hopefully you can click uh, thumbs up okay when you click thumbs up in my youtube channel uh, uh, the artificial intelligence in youtube will promote my youtube teaching to the, the to the rest of the world okay and then you can whatsapp me also if you got any question i uh, may not answer you instantly uh, but i will try my best to answer you later on don't call, try not to call me okay unless it's super urgent super important just whatsapp text to me text to me and then uh, for love offering if you want to you can uh, go to PayPal and, and all that you know PayPal uh, you can you can send the money and then you can also uh, uh, I got a disciple uh, Chong Fung Ming okay do it now if you are Malaysian you can send to her and she will uh, collect everything and then send to me okay and then for Singaporeans you can use pay now to send me uh, to this number okay Okay, so our key scripture, okay, about this renouncing doctrines that can destroy our faith in God's love, teachings that block divine healing and de deliverance. Okay, so uh, uh, our key scripture to this topic is uh, Matthew seventeen. Uh, so uh, verse twenty, uh, Jesus said, uh, "Because of your unbelief." Okay, the disciple asked, "Why can, can, why can?" Uh, you cast out the demon okay and jesus said because of your unbelief you you only jesus said you only need a faith of a mustard seed, seed size okay you you only need a little bit of faith no need to have a lots of faith you only need a tiny 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 bit of faith and the mountain will be cast into the sea understand nothing will be impossible okay okay 
but of course there are sometimes we need to fast and pray okay everyone need to fast and pray once in your lifetime uh, okay so I, I myself has fast and pray 40 days uh, only drinking water uh, and uh, only eat one meal a day sorry my fasting is only one meal a day I cannot be like some people I know of some people who who drink water and fruit juice 40 days okay and then after that they become very very uh, sharp in hearing from God okay 40 days of uh, water and uh, fruit juice okay uh, for myself only uh, fasting uh, eat one meal a day for 40 days okay it, it will make a lot of difference okay but the key is Jesus is trying to say is unbelief unbelief okay unbelief is uh, is what blocks uh, uh, you know casting out demons okay so uh, all this script you can uh, get from my PowerPoint okay freely okay so we have to understand uh, uh, we are now in the kingdom age okay this is the the true uh, this is what give us hope we are in the kingdom age not church age Jesus said that repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand at hand or near okay the kingdom of heaven is inside us Jesus said Luke 17 Jesus, Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is not here not there not far far away it's inside you inside your belly because of the Holy Spirit we are in the kingdom age okay we are uh, supposed to be priests and kings we are supposed to uh, 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 manifest his glory we are supposed to enforce his victory okay we are in the kingdom age okay so uh, uh, what is blocking us is wrong teaching baggages from people that uh, come that from teachers they, they are they are uh, good intention but maybe they do not have the revelation okay and and then and then we just believe everything you know take the meat and take the bone as well okay so right now we really need to rise up because we are in a, a season of shaking okay shaking of nations and upheaval okay uh, we are uh, you know some there are so many different different uh, end time teaching out there uh, some say that the great tribulation haven't started some say uh, we are in the uh, stage God is shaking the nation since 2012 2012 uh, Chuck Pierce uh, Cindy Jacob uh, 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 Patricia King okay there's a group of prophets they announced in 2012 God is shaking nations uh, I think Rick Rick writing also prophet Rick writing so this 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 council of prophets have declared the shaking has begun in 2012 that that was the birth of ISIS okay ISIS there was so many there were uh, many uh, uh, M nation were were having uh, 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 this this uh, what what call that uh, uh, suicide suicide bombing you know and then the the, the ISIS was conquering uh, 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 nation uh, ter territories in the Middle East okay and, and that during that time okay uh, this this council of prophet announced this shaking and then sadhu uh, 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 george anodorai and prophet sadhu george anodorai and steve kokonati in his in their youtube they, they they said that the first seal or second seal has opened okay first seal and second seal has opened okay so i was i was watching i was listening to george anodorai teaching uh, at his church uh, during that time and and i I bas basically agree because because uh, these are shaking. Okay, great tribulation are shaking. Not is is only to shake and remove obstacles of revival. Okay, it is not uh, uh, suffering for everyone. It's a shaking to remove uh, uh, nations. Uh, anything that resists uh, blocks revival. Okay, so you can if you see this, see this. Uh, you understand this. Uh, you will see. Uh, uh, is is happening already? It's already happening, and and the thing is, it is not the whole world. Okay, it's it's fourth part of the earth. Later, I show you the scripture. Fourth part of the earth. Okay, and and revival is breaking out in many countries in the Middle East. In the Middle East, okay. I just came here from Japan uh, a couple of months ago, and I when I was there, I was in uh, Osaka. I heard from one uh, missionary who just come back from uh, Okinawa. He said he told me that revival is happening right now right now in okinawa and and uh, uh fukuoka okay fukuoka okay in these two places okay revival is happening right now okay so it's spreading from from the south to the 
rest of Japan. Okay, so so there is a there's a change in the whole world. Uh, things are happening right now, and you won't know all this unless you are always going to the mission field. Okay. Okay, so we we need to rise up uh, to host his presence because presence is 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 the one that can protect us. Okay, not not anointing, not faith. We need to rise up. Okay, presence need you need to have faith in the word. Presence also need the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and presence also need intimacy with Jesus. You need these three things. Okay, you need these three things in order to host the presence of Jesus. Okay. Presence of Jesus is for you. Anointing is for you to minister to others, to break the yoke from somebody else. Okay, presence will protect you. All right. So I taught this before. I I'm just reminding you. Okay. So let's let's go into uh things that can destroy our faith, block our faith. Uh, if you uh saw my advertisement in the in the Telegram, you saw this. Uh, I I wrote very quite a lot about about this Calvinism. Uh, and uh, versus, you know, Arminianism. So I uh, let me quickly read through here. Calvinism is accepted mostly by Presbyterian denomination as well as charismatic churches who branch out of Presbyterian. That means Presbyterian they, they are not spirit filled. They don't pray in tongues. Charismatic churches are those who pray in tongues. Okay, but the people, the demon, the the pastors, the leaders. May have come out from Presbyterian denomination to start their own uh, non-denomination churches, and so the pastor may be trained from a Bible school, from a Presbyterian Bible school. Okay. So if you listen to a pastor that that uh, that preach, uh, that came from a Calvinism background and know nothing about Arminianism or not fully understand what is Arminianism. Then your faith can be blocked because the way he 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 preach and teach her, uh, he will use words like "Oh, God is sovereign. We cannot force him to heal us or deliver us." You know, yeah. So I so is is so you must understand this why why he talk like that and why you don't see other pastor from Methodist, from uh, Baptist, from uh, Pentecostal talk like this. Okay, it is because of Calvinism. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So you you can go to this uh uh uh, uh link, uh, okay, uh to go and find out what is this Calvinism, okay, this uh Wikipedia. You just search for it, and it will explain to you. It has been around for a few hundred years, okay, from uh, from uh uh the Protestant theologians who came up from Catholic. Okay. After they came out from Catholic, then they start to come out with uh, funny, funny doctrine. Okay, one of them is Calvinism. Okay, and then the one of the theologians in Calvinism who learned from from the founder John Calvin, I I forgot his name. Uh, this guy, he 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 read he studied this Calvinism and then he refused, he rejected, it. and then he come out, he invented his own doctrine, and his doctrine is called Arminianism. Okay, and this Arminianism is where Methodist uh, denomination came from. Okay, and then John Wesley, all that, uh, uh, you know, he they are taught in this. Is John Wesley is from uh, Methodist, and and he he embraced uh, Arminianism. Okay, so so basically, Calvinism is saying that God wants everyone to uh, God. Predestined some to go to hell, some go to heaven, uh, uh, you know, and you cannot do anything about it. Okay, uh, Arminianism is uh, added the word, added the word. He God predestined us by foreknowledge. Okay, by foreknowledge. There's addition of this word by foreknowledge, and because of this addition, God is loving. If you take away this word by foreknowledge, okay. Then you will you you if you say if somebody tell you God predestined somebody to go to heaven somebody to go to hell, uh, uh, because God is sovereign. Then you you may have the you may feel the connotation that God is very unloving, biased, and can be cruel. Okay, He predestined some innocent people to go to hell for no reason, and there's nothing the person can do about it. Okay, it is like telling 
uh, everybody that God is a wicked and cruel God. He wants people to burn in hell, okay, for no reason, okay, because he's biased, okay. That is, uh, <laughs> uh, that's why this uh, uh um, this this guy I think is called something Jacob or something like that, from uh, uh refused to endorse Calvinism. The, theolo the, theolo uh, the theologian okay, he refused to endorse this and come up with his own doctrine Armenian, Armenian view or Armenianism okay? so I hope you, you uh, believe what I'm telling you okay? Okay? so all this will be in the slide in the notes you can go and share it to anyone okay so if you believe what I just said, okay, can you just have uh say with me, Lord Jesus, say with me to uh re to renounce, okay, to renounce this uh this uh, uh wrong teaching that says that trying to tell tell us that God God is a cruel God, okay, we're gonna renounce it this so that your faith in God in God's love for you is unblocked, okay. Say with me, uh, Father God, I I declare, uh. I, I I believe in Arminianism. I believe that you you uh you predestine us by foreknowledge through for foreknowledge. You predestine us through for through uh uh by foreknowledge that we will be your vessel of glory. Okay, we are your vessel of glory because you foreknew that we will choose the gospel. We will choose to believe in the gospel so you predestined us to be vessel of glory you are a good god you are a good god you are a good father you love everyone you want everyone to be safe you want everyone to be safe and but by foreknowledge you know who are the one who will reject who will reject the gospel and so you predestined by foreknowledge some will go to some will become your vessel of glory thank you Jesus so right now I renounce Calvinism I renounce this this uh, wrong teaching in Jesus name am I too fast? I hope not okay so I have also this teaching of uh, seven principles of Bible interpretation okay so that you can understand when you read the Bible, uh, like for example in the Old Testament, God asked asked the the, the children of is the is children of Israel, uh, Joshua to kill all the children, kill all the children in the Promised Land, and the women also. Okay, so if you don't understand the seven principle of Bible interpretation, you will think that God is cruel, and wicked. Okay, it is not. Okay. <coughs> So, so if you click this link, okay, in the soft copy, <coughs> you will go to the, the, to the, to this topic, seven principles of Bible interpretation, okay. So if you don't have these seven principles of Bible interpretation, interpretation, you could be easily uh, misled by sincerely earnest anointed Bible teacher, okay. They are very anointed, but. They are, and they are very sincere, but they are sincerely wrong, okay. So I, uh, so so the way I interpret Bible is based on established principles, not anyhow, uh, inconsistently. I felt the Holy Spirit tell me this, God tell me that. No. No, I based on Bible interpretation principles, okay. Okay, and you can do that also, okay. So I, I I I put all this here uh, examples, but I think I will I will just uh, uh, okay. I just give you one example: hyperbole in the Bible. Okay, in Matthew eighteen nineteen, Jesus said, "Pluck out your eyes if it costs you to sin." Okay, so Jesus in this verse is telling you not to really pluck out your eyes, but to over exaggerate and over exaggerate how important it is to guard what your eyes is seeing okay your eyes can cause you to sin so you must guard what your eyes is seeing so jesus is over exaggerating the importance of guarding your eyes this is the meaning of hyperbole 
okay he's not asking you to pluck out your eyes and then the matthew 5 39 he said somebody slap you on the left you let him slap on the right this is also the same it is a hyperbole you is telling you that you, uh, the importance of forgiveness and long suffering not ask you to go and let him let him slap a second time okay it is a hyperbole okay so if you don't understand all this what is hyperbole you cannot obey god's word you cannot obey you cannot let somebody slap you again all right not so you 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 have to uh but once you understand then you can obey okay and then when you can obey your you will be like a house built on a rock not built on sand the problem is people don't obey they find that it's difficult to obey they don't understand so they cannot obey no God, Jesus said my yoke is easy my burden is light okay he's, he's, it is our yoke which is heavy Jesus yoke is easy Jesus said his yoke is easy it is our yoke our own yoke that, that is heavy okay we should exchange our yoke for the yoke of Jesus alright so if you understand the seven principles of Bible interpretation you will be able to obey and then your house will be built on rock and not on on sand no storm can cause your house to collapse okay so the all this all these are the same seven principles of bible interpretation so i hope you can uh go and watch my teaching or maybe uh just just go and download this powerpoint this powerpoint okay uh okay now this this verse here this this principle number six read the word through eyes of a father's love for his children this is one of the principle of bible interpretation this is the very this is a very very important bible interpretation principle okay when if you don't have this principle don't if you don't apply this principle you read the book of revelation especially the book of revelation you will come up with a wrong 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 interpretation all kinds of wrong interpretation that, that can bring fear and, and and distrust in god's love to the the one who is listening to you all right you understand this is a very important principle you must read the bible from the eyes of a father's love for his children okay okay let's let's talk about this this uh this uh, uh this 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 statement here why job suffered god having a bet with satan versus job open door to fear okay this is uh this this is also a cause of uh uh wrong and this is a, also a topic uh taught wrongly taught wrongly by some anointed preacher and caused people to doubt god's love okay doubt god's love that means or, or his or his protection okay you start to doubt god's protection and his love okay because of this wrong teaching god was was he having a bet with satan or job open door to fear okay which is which so this rep this david paulson very very famous very popular a lot of people like to quote him he teach this he teach that and then he, he had this video okay this video below here this this you uh you click on it then you will see him teaching about uh job suffering okay he he was he offered the reason why he suffered okay it's because he was having a bad a wager with satan he didn't give any other alternative explanation okay he he said that oh it's uh it's it's, it's difficult to understand to accept okay uh, if god is love why he allowed this to happen i know it's very difficult okay so he didn't he say like that okay uh he said like that but he didn't explain uh, 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 other reasons okay except that that job uh, except that god and satan was having a wager or a bet okay so if you believe that david Boston really uh, uh teaching uh, okay he, he teach that god was having a bet with satan a wager with satan and because of that he uh god take away the hedge of protection and allow satan to kill all his children take away his wealth uh, and, and uh, let uh, Job suffer skin disease okay and all because God is sovereign 
or he you cannot question God, God is sovereign. Uh, so if you believe this, your faith to receive divine healing and deliverance will be completely uh, destroyed. Okay? This is my 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 my, my understanding to, to you. I hope you uh, you know uh, take note of this. So I'll give you an alternative view, school of thought. Okay, and this school of thought is this. Job opened door to fear. Job chapter 3 verse 25. In this verse, Job said, What I feared the most happens. What I feared the most happened. Okay, the meaning of this verse is that he was afraid his children would die and his children really died. He was afraid of getting skin disease he gets skin disease and he, he was afraid he lose all his wealth and he actually lost all his wealth. So, so because Job was worrying or fearful or, uh, you know, every day, so God took away his hedge of protection. Okay? So, so, if you ask anyone who are in the healing deliverance ministry for many years, they will tell you this truth is true. Okay, this truth is undeniable. Okay, fear is an open door. Okay, we must get rid of the spirit of fear. If you think that you have a spirit of fear, you are always worrying, fearful, and then you try to stop it, you cannot stop it. That means you may have a spirit of fear. Okay, you cannot control yourself. You're always fearful. That means it's a spirit. If you can control, means there's no spirit. But if you are, you are unable to control yourself, you get a uh, panic attack. Uh, uh, fearful uh, symptoms of fear like like uh, gastric uh, heart palpitation or irritable bowel syndrome probably you have a spirit of fear okay and then you must get rid of it okay repent and get rid of it okay uh, and, and and you and and the the truth is everyone has a hedge of protection okay we have a hedge of protection okay you you need to focus on the truth not focus of on Oh, I don't want to have fear. I don't want to have fear. Okay, focus focus on the truth. Okay, you have a hedge of protection. Don't focus on the negative. If you will focus on the negative, oh, I I afraid of of this. I afraid of that. I afraid this thing will happen. If you focus on negative, okay, <coughs> the negative, then you can be open door. You must focus on the truth. The truth must be based on the word of God. Okay, the word of God says in Job one ten, you have a hedge of protection. The devil cannot kill, steal, and destroy. Sorry, excuse me, I have to drink some water. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so we have a protection. Focus on the truth. Don't focus on the negative. Okay, the more you focus on negative, the more negative, the uh, the more you you embrace the negative. Okay, focus on the positive. Okay. Okay. Next. So 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 there. Are other end time teachers who sow fear, okay, unbelief in God's love, okay, and they are saying, talk, talking about the great tribulation upon the whole earth. You want to bash up everyone before bringing them to heaven. Uh, this is not true. This is not true. Only fourth part of the earth will suffer great tribulation, not the whole earth, okay. So if you are doubtful, you go and listen to those real prophets. There's a council of prophets. Uh, I told you just now Chuck Pierce Cindy Jekyll Rick Riding All these people They will check with one another Okay We are The great The great tribulation Is to shake And remove structures That blocks revival Okay P it, there, there are some country The gospel is very hard to go in Unless The structures are destroyed By the Four horsemen Okay The The, the, the is for shaking Of certain nations Fourth part of the earth Okay so, so if you don't have this understanding for part, you take it out totally, then you find that oh God want to bash up us up for no reason. Oh God, God is sovereign, so He want to bash us up. You know that is not true. 
okay that but if you understand the the fourth part of the earth this shaking of the fourth part of the earth is for a for revival jesus opened the seal in in revelation chapter 5 to shake nation to to remove the the political and religious structure in society okay that blocks revival then you believe that god is a good father he loves us okay he loves us he wants everyone to be safe okay so so it is very very important you understand totally all the scriptures okay the scriptures what 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 the the the, the uh you know this fourth part of the earth okay will suffer great tribulation not the whole earth okay and then some end time teacher say oh the mark of the beast will come before the rapture okay and we have to suffer the great tribulation uh, uh because the beast will come okay you will stop everybody from buying and selling okay so you better uh uh uh, 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 you know, buy land in Goshen, run away. Okay, the beast cannot. The truth is, the beast cannot come un until we are raptured. Okay, this beast uh, is mentioned in the Revelation chapter thirteen. It, this beast get his power from Satan. This beast can call down fire from heaven. He has supernatural power that that he will use to deceive all the nation to give him power. Okay. And this cannot happen during the kingdom age. It is happening after the rapture, after the kingdom age. You understand? So, so many end time teachers do not have, do not understand what is the meaning of kingdom age. They are thinking of church age. Okay, preach not preach the gospel of kingdom, but preach the gospel of salvation. Okay. So, if you embrace this kind of wrong teaching, okay, then your your faith. In the gospel of kingdom or your faith in the gospel of kingdom is destroyed okay you must understand that the gospel of the kingdom the message is kingdom of heaven is now we are in the kingdom age we are priests and we are king okay priest means you minister to God you minister to God uh, 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 as tabernacle of David okay tabernacle of David okay not tabernacle of Moses tabernacle of David okay you 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 raise up the tabernacle of David as priest, and then the glory, the presence of Jesus will appear, and then after that, after that you exercise dominion as kings, dominion as king to exercise, to bind and to loose, to decree against the mountain. You command the mountain to be cast into the sea, okay, and 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 this this is mentioned before in Daniel chapter two, okay. God will create a kingdom on earth that will destroy every other kingdom. Okay, so you and me are now in this kingdom. We are supposed to enforce this victory, destroy every other kingdom. The beast cannot attack us during this kingdom age. All right. So there are end time teachers who, who teach us, oh, the mark of the beast is going to affect everyone. So you better buy land in, uh, in another country, grow your own food, vegetable. Uh, uh, live off grid, uh, uh, buy land in Thailand. Uh, 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 you know, grow your own food and eat to yourself inside four walls so that nobody can steal your food. You know, so that you can escape the mark of the beast test. Okay, this this is also wrong teaching, because there are many who cannot afford to do that, to buy uh, houses in other country to grow their own food. There are many, many, many. So these Christians, God will not do this kind of thing. Some Christians will suffer because they cannot afford to buy, uh, 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 you know, buy land in other country. Some, some, some rich Christian they can afford, so they are safe. But those who cannot afford, they are in trouble. God don't do this kind of thing. We have to understand why the purpose of the mark of the beast test. Later, I am going to explain to you what is this. Why God allow mark of the beast test? If we don't understand this you thought god want to uh, starve us to death for a mysterious reason okay you must know the purpose the, if you know the purpose of the mark of the beast test then you know that god is good god is love okay the true reason for this mark of the beast test if you know it you will know that god is love god is good all right so 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 many 
wrong teaching will encourage you to go and you know put your life saving go and buy in the past there was one case one or two years ago uh cryptocurrency and then and then uh uh the the, the poor uh, the retiree lost his life saving okay because he he go and put a lot of money into cryptocurrency into a company that deal with a christian company supposedly christian company that 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 operate uh, uh, uh this cryptocurrency okay so what why is this purpose of this mark of the beast test okay why is the purpose of this mark of the beast test let me explain to you right now okay the mark of the beast test okay is 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 you must understand about about the uh, the two tests children of Israel experience in wilderness. Okay, Hebrew three seven, chap, uh, chapter three verse seven to and eleven. I teach about this in my teaching training on inner healing. Okay, I teach about the passing the test. Everyone must pass the test to enter his rest. Okay, the children of of Israel in in Hebrew chapter three verse seven eleven, they keep failing the test again fail retest fail retest for 40 years okay and god says they cannot enter his rest they cannot enter his rest and and uh, uh, and then in in uh, uh, then jesus show us how he passed the test in 40 days passed the test in 40 days okay if jesus has to go through the test okay after he he was baptized he has to pass the test you and me also need to pass the test okay this topic I taught very deeply, okay, in my training on inner healing. Okay, this passing the test is is important in order to do inner healing for ourselves as well as for our family members, our loved one uh, who are in bondages. Okay, you can help them. Okay, if you understand this passing the test. Okay, basically. Everyone must pass the test. Then you enter your abundant life on earth. Okay, you, when you become a Christian, you do not automatically have abundant life. There are many many godly Christians. Okay, they are they are they died young. They died of cancer. They died very godly, holy. But why why they died young? They did not know that 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 a wounded soul caused body to get, get sick. And why the soul is wounded because their heart, their spiritual heart. Is broken why the spiritual heart is broken because of the test okay everybody will be tested and tested until you pass when your identity comes from the Word of God when your identity comes from the world and not from the Word of God you fail the test okay your identity come from your success from your your achievement your heart will be broken the spiritual heart will be bro broken okay that's what Luke chapter 4 verse 18 says Jesus said, "The Spirit of the Lord anoint me to preach gospel to the poor and heal, heal broken heart." Okay, there's something called a spiritual broken heart, and the broken heart is is very very painful. And many many churches don't do not talk about this broken heart. Okay, many in Singapore the suicide rate is very very high because the the the, the students, the young people. They are told by the teacher, your success, your happiness come from your school result. Okay, you are, you do well in your studies. You are you have you meet expectation of society. You have a good future. But you don't do well in the studies. You you don't meet expectation. You got no hope. You got no future. So many many young men, the the the, the youth in Singapore, when they do well, fine. They don't do well, their heart, their spiritual heart broke. Okay. The heart, the broken heart is so painful. The doctor can tell you, tell the, the person, hey, your heart, nothing wrong. Why you say your heart is painful? Okay. The, 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 the truth is there's something called speech, spiritual broken heart. Okay. And, and, and this broken heart is so painful, they got to cut their wrist to numb the pain in their heart. Okay. Numb the pain in their heart by cutting their wrist. A lot of young people cut their wrist. Okay. Because they think they have no future. Okay. The truth is, to pass the test, your identity must come from the word of God and not, not come from your studies, your achievement, your result, or what people think about you, what society think about you. It must come from the word of God. That's how Jesus passed the test. He when he was tested by Satan, if you are 
Son of God, you turn the stone into bread. Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word from the mouth of God. So Jesus is trying to tell us to, to pass a test okay, on your identity. You, your identity comes from the word of God, not from showing anything, not, not from proving anything. Okay? But your identity must come from the word of God. Okay, you are loved by God. You are accepted by God. You are you already meet meet God's expectation through Jesus. Okay, this is the truth. Okay, this this is how we pass the test to enter His rest. Okay, so this 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 kind of teaching is not uh not very common in this world in in churches in all over the world. Okay, so many people. Do not do not understand. They are wounded. Their heart is broken. Soul is wounded, and because of that, uh, they end up. Uh, they keep failing and failing. They are trapped in the wilderness. Even Christian, okay. Finally, there's if they don't pass the test, they will end up with the mark of the beast test. Okay, mark of the beast test is the final test. Okay, There's, this is the final test. Many many Christians are stuck in the wilderness, cannot come out. Okay, because nobody tell them about the test. Nobody tell them they must pass the test on their identity. Their identity must come from the world of God, not come from the world. Okay? So, so, so this teaching is not common. Okay? How to, pass your, how to pass the test and enter your rest, your abundant life. Okay? Not very common. Okay? So, so but in inner healing, some, some, some uh, uh, ministers of God, they understand this. Okay? Mostly, most of them, don't, they don't understand this. They don't use this approach, okay, to, to heal the broken heart, okay? Okay, so the final test is the mark of the beast test. So you must understand, God is giving people a, a last chance. Mark of the beast test is a final chance, okay? The, the two tests in the wilderness is, is basically love God, don't love the world. Love God, you don't love, love the world, you pass the test. Okay, if you love the world, <coughs> the love of the Father is not in you. You cannot love God if you love the world. This is test number one. Test number two is you must believe God loves you. God loves you is enough. You don't need anyone else to love you because you are born of God. You are born of God. You are be you belong to God. Okay, this is the second test. If you just pass this test, you can be raptured. You can go to heaven. You don't need to go through the mark of the beast test. You understand? You can come out from the wilderness right now. It, in this world, okay, you will experience your abundant life in this world. Okay? And then when the rapture comes, you will be raptured. Okay? This is how this is what it means to, 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 uh, to, to pass the test. Okay? So the mark of the beast is the final, final, final retest. It is out of God's mercy to help those who are keep on failing, retest fear, retest fear. It is God's mercy to <coughs> help people. Who keep failing the test to enter heaven okay you understand <coughs> it is the final retest okay <coughs> so 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 if you don't understand these two tests if you have totally no knowledge about the two tests many many end time teacher doesn't know about the two tests what happened is <coughs> what happened is when they preach they teach about the end time they they they, they become confused they become confused because you look at this verse in revelation chapter 15 verse 2 those who refuse the mark of the beast they die they go to heaven and they see the heaven is so beautiful they see the heaven is so beautiful then after that in revelation chapter 20 verse 4 they resurrected as human and they live with jesus for 1000 years face to face they, they, they see Jesus is full of love full of goodness but after 1000 years Satan is released to test them again and history will repeat itself Satan will deceive them to fight against Jesus in the God man God war okay so it's just like the, the, the wilderness 3 million ch children of Israel they, they complain they complain you bring us to the wilderness to kill us of hunger and thirst you bring us to wilderness to kill us of hunger and thirst. They don't believe God loves them. Okay, they keep failing the test. Okay. So the same thing will happen again. They see cloud by day, fire by night, manna dropping from heaven, and yet they still accuse God of trying to kill them of hunger and thirst. 
they don't believe God loves them. The same thing will happen to the, the people who pass the mark of the beast. They die, they go to heaven. Well, heaven is real. It's re heaven is real. It's real. It's beautiful. Okay, then they become human again. They resurrect as human again. They see Jesus face to face for 1,000 years. Okay, God is so merciful. Oh, Jesus is real. God is, and Jesus is a good God. Okay, they see him face to face. Just like the children of Israel in the wilderness, cloud by day, fire by, by night. They see the goodness of God for 40 years. But after, after 1,000 years, when Satan is released, they, they trust Satan. They trust Satan and they fight against Jesus. Okay? Again and again. Okay? They do not understand about the test. They do not understand we need to pass the two tests to believe that God loves us. Don't believe in what the Satan is telling us. God is, don't, don't believe in Satan. Okay? Satan is always attacking our identity. Okay? So, so, so we must believe that God loves us to pass the two tests and enter His rest. Okay. So if people don't understand these two tests, end time teachers who, who don't know about passing the test to enter His rest, they, they, they cannot understand why I must go to the mark of the beast test, like as though God is so cruel, right? Not as though God is so cruel want to starve us to death for mysterious reason. Okay. And and the way they talk as though God is you know, God is not love at all. Okay? So you must understand. You will understand the two tests. You can see that God is... These two tests is for those who miss the rapture. Okay? Because they don't... They did not pass the test. They don't love God. They love the world. And second, they don't believe they are loved by God. They don't believe they are loved by God. Their identity comes from the world. Okay? They basically fail the test. So the mark of the beast that is a final test. It is in is an act of mercy and long suffering from God for His elect. Okay, it's an it's an act of mercy and long suffering from God to help His elect to to go to heaven. You understand? So the mark of the beast test is 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 an act of mercy and long suffering. Okay, it is not God's cru God being cruel. Okay, God wants us to starve to death. No. Okay. So you must understand Hebrew chapter 3 verse 7 and 11 and Luke chapter 4 verse 1 to 18. The two tests in the wilderness. Okay. Okay. Our identity, self-esteem, self-worth must come from His word, not from the world. Okay. This, when we, we, when we, when we operate inner healing, deliverance, we, ha we, are, we operate to this understanding. Because the person has the wrong understanding of his identity come from the world, then he, he, has, a, he has a mental trauma or emotional trauma and a spirit of rejection, spirit of anger, spirit of fear or depression enter him. Because he has a wrong understanding of his identity coming from the world. And, and in inner healing and deliverance, we, we, as, as we, 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 we speak to him, we explain to him, uh, about the two tests and we tell we, uh, we we lead him to renounce okay the wrong identity and then his spiritual heart will be healed his mental trauma emotional trauma will be healed his broken heart and wounded soul will be healed instantly okay that is how we uh, I teach and uh, and I, I minister inner healing and deliverance okay so I hope you and I use this this uh, this doctrine this teaching I, I apply it to help my own family members okay to break free from certain bondages okay oppression depression okay and I teach this to others to so that you can you anyone can you understand this teaching and 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 apply it by prophesying the opposite truth of what broke their spiritual heart and you will see instant change in their behavior in the, the behavior of your family members Okay, this understanding of of uh, uh, inner healing is very very useful. I hope you all can go and watch my teaching here. Okay, I put the link here. Uh, if you get the PowerPoint, if you did not watch this before, you can go and uh, download my this PowerPoint and click on this link. Part one on inner healing, part two on inner healing. Okay, and and you you will help you a lot. Okay, to have to 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 uh, receive to see the victory that Jesus. Won two thousand years ago. Okay. 
So there are many end time teacher who preach only a tiny remnant will be raptured. Okay, very few people will raptured. Don't 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 have so high hope. Okay, this many talk like that. Okay, and then they don't give a solution or a, a answer why how how we can overcome this how you can be raptured. Okay, so I I, I if you watch my end time teaching, okay the 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 uh, I think the link that I had put up earlier on uh, at, at the first slide okay uh, you can find my teaching on end time it is very different I give you many many ways God give us many many ways to help us to pass the test for example one of them is pass the test to enter his rest okay and then we, God also give us this feast of trumpet feast of trumpet is a plan B for us okay plan B for us it is difficult not to be raptured Unless you don't bother about obeying God's command, feast of trumpet is a statue. It is not a a a. a is that in the Old Testament there are many many law, uh, religion, uh, hygiene law, moral law, uh 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 uh, uh what you call that Hi, uh, re, uh religious uh ceremony ceremonial law. Okay, there are many many kinds of law. Feast of trumpet is one of the statue. Okay. In Leviticus chapter twenty-three, God says that we have to uh, celebrate feast of trumpet, okay, on the first of Tishri, first uh, first day of the sixth month, okay, of the Hebrew calendar, okay, feast of trumpet, not Rosh Hashanah, uh, Rosh Hashanah, feast of trumpet, okay, R Rosh Hashanah means New Year, Hebrew New Year, okay, feast of trumpet is different, okay, God changed the New Year to first of Nisan, okay. First of trumpet is the actual uh, is it is is very important. God wants us to come together to 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 gather together as one body, okay. And 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 why is it so important? Why? Because there are seven feasts, okay. Mentioned in Leviticus twenty three, Jesus was crucified on the exact day of the feast of Passover, buried on the feast of unleavened bread, resurrected on the feast of first fruit. And then Pentecost, Holy Spirit was poured on the feast of week, four feasts fulfilled. The fifth one is the feast of trumpet. So it's very very likely, okay, rapture will take place on the feast of trumpet, okay. The the, it's very likely ninety nine percent, okay, that feast of trumpet, at the when everyone in in this world has blown their shofar on the day of feast of trumpet, the last trumpet will come from heaven. That's why the Bible in one Corinthians chapter fifteen verse fifty two says, "At the last trump, everyone blow their trumpet on the feast of trumpet, okay, and then the last trump will come from heaven, okay, and then you'll be caught up to heaven, okay, on the day of the feast of trumpet. We do not know which year, we do not know which year, okay, it, uh, but it's very very likely ninety nine point nine percent will be on the feast of trumpet because." The, the 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 word feast okay is moed moed means appointed time okay Jesus has fulfilled four feasts on the exact day and time okay so feast of trumpet is likely the meaning of feast is not doesn't mean party okay it means appointed time okay so it it is likely that on the feast of trumpet will be the day of rapture and we we should be gathering together. To consecrate ourselves, to repent of failing the two tests, repent of failing the two tests of 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 loving the world, of uh, don't believing that God loves us, and we declare that we love God. Okay, and that's and and that's how you can be ready to be raptured. Okay, okay, because I know it's not easy to pass the two tests. Okay, you is you have to die to your flesh to pass the two tests. Okay, but God give you you a plan B, a plan B so that everyone can come together. And and repent, okay, so that you can be raptured. So I, I, the end time teaching that I gave, okay, in the past, okay, in the past was full of hope, okay. Not a tiny remnant will be raptured, okay. And then Jesus also said in Matthew twenty five, three metaphor, okay, three metaphor how you can be raptured, okay. So Jesus is giving you a lot of clue how to prepare yourself to be raptured, okay. In Matthew chapter twenty four, Jesus gave. Uh, uh, Jesus answered three questions. Matthew twenty four verse three. Jesus disciple asked Jesus three questions. What are the signs of destruction of the second temple, and what are the signs of your coming back? And then 
what are the signs of your of the end of age three question so in matthew chapter 24 you have to divide into three part okay then you understand what jesus is talking about you you mix these three parts together you get confused okay so you 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 will, you will understand in matthew 24 jesus is talking about the rapture not parousia but rapture okay rapture means he will come he will cut us up to heaven okay he will take us up okay rapture parousia is he will come down his feet will land in mount olive uh, in zechariah zechariah chapter 14 his feet will land on mount olive okay and the mount olive will split into two and then he will fight against the the army of the the beast okay that's also found in revelation chapter 19 okay this is called the parousia no we are i'm talking about the rapture the rapture is is talked about in matthew 24 by jesus and then after that in matthew 25 jesus talked about three criteria three criteria he talked he gave three uh metaphor okay metaphor or or parable he's he the, all these are, are parable okay it is not uh a, a, a prophecy he's not going to he did not prophesy he will come back as a master as a bridegroom or as a, a judge okay these three are the same it's a context the context is criteria how to be raptured okay you must use the principle of bible interpretation matthew 25 is connected to matthew 24 criteria to be raptured the principle is the pr principle of context okay the context is how to be ready to be raptured okay so in he said he will come back as a bridegroom okay if you don't have oil jesus will say i don't know you okay that means he's saying that we need to get baptized in holy spirit and then walk in the spirit do not walk in the flesh all the days of your life okay so i have a teaching on this how to operate in the spirit not operate soul and body but spirit soul body okay three part we many many christians operate soul and body no spirit okay so i i i i, I teach this in one of my video okay you are actually a spirit your spirit has got spiritual faculties faculties you are you need to know them otherwise you cannot operate them F spiritual faculties like like intuition communion and conscience you have three main faculties that you need to exercise them to operate in the spirit okay and then your your soul must be subservient to your spirit okay your soul should not dominate your your, your life your you should be dominated by the spirit spirit tell your soul what to do your soul tell your body what to do this is how we walk in the spirit i have th have this teaching i hope you go and watch it so that you can walk in the spirit all the days of your life and then jesus said i will come back as a master you know you have to unbury your calling and gifting and then jesus said i will come back as a judge this is also a metaphor this is not a prophecy jesus is not going to come as a judge okay it's a metaphor how to be raptured okay he's saying jesus is saying that 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 uh during the great tribulation there will be a lot of suffering christian will be suffering and if you don't help if you you are not suffering and you got you are not helping those who are suffering you are not helping those who are suffering then you are uh not helping not helping those christians not 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 non-believer christians who are suffering okay then you are not a sheep you are a goat and then lake of fire okay this is not going to happen he's telling us this is a metaphor okay he's not going to come back as a judge this is a metaphor he is telling us this is a criteria to be raptured you are not helping suffering christians who are suffering great tribulation as though you're helping jesus then you may not be raptured okay this is a criteria three criteria in matthew 25 three criteria in matthew 25 how to how you can be raptured so jesus gave very clear instruction how to prepare yourself to be rapture okay very clear instruction and jesus also teach up uh, uh then the hebrew 3 7 11 and matthew uh, uh, uh matthew 4 sorry uh luke chapter 4 also talk about the two tests okay all these are telling us that we need to pass the test okay pass the test you then you have abundant life you can enter his rest okay and then you'll be raptured okay so the mark the feast of trumpet is a backup plan by god so that in case you keep on failing you're stuck in the wilderness you're suffering in the wilderness but you don't know how to get up come on feast of trumpet okay leviticus 23 23 
and 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 uh, you know, and you uh, blow your shofar, and then you do a repentance. Oh Jesus, I'm sorry. I fear the test. I don't believe my identity uh, is based on the word. Uh, I'm sorry. I I I I don't believe I'm loved by you. I now I declare that you are you you are a good father and you love me, and I love you. That's it. Okay. Feast of Trumpet is a backup plan for us to consecrate ourselves and get ready. Okay. It's 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 the it's a salvation plan of God. Okay. Salvation plan of God. Attend the Feast of Trumpet and consecrate yourself on that day. Okay. Consecrate yourself on that day. Okay. And every year I organize the Feast of Trumpet. Okay. And then you can then on that day, besides repenting for failing the test, repent that you're not uh you you are uh, you know, for love, like like Lord's wife, Lord's wife turned into a pillar of salt because, because, because she she looked back. Why? Because she loved the world. So Jesus talked about the uh, 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 rapture. Okay. See the verse here. Remember Lord's wife. Whoever seeks his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life will preserve it i tell you that night there will be two men in one bed one will taken the other will be left this is talking about the rapture okay and 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 and, and jesus said remember lost wife he's telling us don't become like lost wife don't become like lost wife lost wife love why she look back and become a pillar of salt she i, I don't think lost wife commit big sin i think she loved the world loved the the, the life of sodom so although she's out from Sodom but her heart still loves Sodom that's why she looked back that's why she became a pillar of salt so when the rapture come don't love don't let go okay don't think about your 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 car condominium your car your gold bars in your uh, in your safe you know let go of everything don't love the world okay don't think about uh, oh I, I haven't enjoyed myself enough in this world okay alright Okay, okay, I think we are coming very close to the end. I'm uh, now it's 10 15. Okay, uh, okay, another thing that can block our understanding, okay, block our, our ability to receive healing and deliverance is the teaching on spirit, soul, and body. Because I heard from some, some, somebody, one of my disciples, about uh, another preacher or teacher was talking about spirit, soul, and body is in a different way, okay. So I, I want to uh, suggest to you uh, do not accept anything else except what I teach you, okay? Because if you mess up your understanding of spirit, soul and body and your heart, spiritual heart, you, you, cannot, you will not be able to understand your identity in Christ. And because you cannot understand your identity in Christ, you will be open to spiritual attack. You understand? You, you can be open to spiritual attack because you don't you are confused or mixed up about your identity okay now let me just go through the the, the right understanding okay so based on uh, two scripture Ezekiel, Ezekiel 36 20, 26 27 uh, and and uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23 okay let me see whether I got the scripture here yeah I got the scripture here uh, Ezekiel 36 27. 26, 27. Okay, you, there's something called spiritual heart, a new heart, and a new spirit. Both are spiritual. Okay, but your spiritual heart is the real thing. Okay, your new you have a new spiritual heart and the new spirit. Okay, so <coughs> and you have a spirit, soul, and body. One Thessalonians chapter five verse twenty three. Okay, you have a spirit, soul, and body. Okay, you have three parts, and then you have a spiritual heart. So this spiritual heart is the center of your soul. Okay, because in one Thessalonians chapter five twenty three, it never talk about heart. It talk about spirit, soul, and body. Never talk about heart. So, so, so to make it to make you understand, okay, your heart cannot be your spirit because here Ezekiel 26, 27, 26, 26, 26 says that spiritual heart, a spiritual heart and a spirit, a new spirit are different thing, two different thing, okay, two different thing, okay. Then where is the heart? Where is the heart? Spirit, soul, and body. Where's the heart? So it has to be the soul, the the center of your soul. Okay. <coughs> okay. So, so. So I hope you don't forget this and don't get messed up by some 
other teacher about spirit, soul, and body. Okay, your heart can be sometimes can be evil, or sometimes has got things they need to repent. But your spirit, your spirit is always holy, holy and and uh, made in the image of God. And your spirit is you, not your, not your soul, not your body. Your real you is your spirit. Your spirit is inside the Holy Spirit. You must hold fast to that, to this truth. Then you understand your identity in Christ. You are fighting, that means you are fighting sin from a position of holiness. Okay? It, it, it can sound like an oxymoron or very contra self-contradictory. No. You are fighting sin from a position, from a true position of victory from sin. If you don't have this concept of spirit, soul, and body, and the heart clear, you get messed up. You cannot understand. Okay, you, you, you get confused. There are many and teachers or pastors will tell you, "Oh, you are always a sinner, always a sinner." Okay, wrong, wrong. If you think you are perpetually a sinner, you cannot receive divine healing. You are blocked. You are blocked from receiving divine healing and deliverance. You can go for all the deliverance, cast out the demon, you will come back again because you always believe you are you are a, a, a sinner. Okay? The truth is, your spirit is you, not your soul, not your body. Your soul is the consciousness of your spirit. Okay? Your, you need your soul, your mind, emotion, will to operate your physical body. Without your soul, you cannot operate your body. Okay? Understand? The consciousness means it is no it, there's nothing there there's no substance your mind there's nothing you cannot touch your mind in, in, let's say your one day you when you die your spirit come out from your body i and i also can see I, i'm also uh, my spirit also come out from my body i only see your spirit i cannot see your soul i cannot see your mind i cannot see your emotion i cannot see your will okay there's nothing there your soul there's nothing it's a consciousness of your spirit understand it's a consciousness means consciousness means nothing Without the consciousness, you do not know that you exist or you are alive. Okay, this concept, my emotional concept, is 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 common. Most people and pastors, preachers, they understand this, except for one or two, uh, you know, different different kind of uh, understanding. Okay, okay, even psychologists, psychiatrists, they be understand that the soul is my emotion will. Okay, and the soul, they don't believe you have a spirit. They, they believe that your soul, your mind, emotion, will is part of your physical brain, be part of your physical brain, understand? Or your body, okay? Because you don't have a human spirit, okay? You are just soul and body, okay? You are just, we are just like animal, okay? But this is not the truth. The truth is, you are you, your soul is part of your spirit, okay? Part of your spirit, not part of your body. When you die, your body will go to dust. Your soul and your spirit will go together. Okay, without your your soul, you do not know that you you exist. You are you're not aware of, you you're not conscious of your of your being alive or, or aware of the, of your ex self existence. You're not aware of your self existence. You understand? It is part and parcel of your spirit. You understand? So the soul is your consciousness and then you have spiritual heart this spiritual heart is the center of your soul if you uh, 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 the devil give you a negative thoughts okay you did not sin unless you you believe in your heart you believe in your heart and then you have sin doesn't mean you have a, a bad thought you sin every time you must repent every time you must repent only when you believe in your heart okay you really believe in your heart and then you speak it out you confess it then your heart then you have to repent from your heart you repent from your heart not from your mind not from your emotion. You understand? If you repent from your heart, uh, you repent from your mind or emotion, it doesn't work. Deliverance cannot happen. So you must aware there's something called spiritual heart. Repentance must come from the spiritual heart. The heart is the center of your soul. Okay, this concept must be clear. Okay, then deliverance, genuine deliverance can take place. Okay, understand? Okay, and then you, 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 if your mind has got wrong belief system, uh, stronghold, your identity come from the world, you're not loved, you're not accepted by the world, don't make expectation, or you believe it in your heart, your spiritual heart will break like a knife step into your spiritual heart. And to heal your spiritual heart, 
you just have to renounce what you believe. Oh, I, 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 I am loved by God. I don't need anyone else to love me. God loves me because I'm born of God. And the truth will set you free. Your heart, your broken spiritual heart will heal instantly. Understand? I give this example before. Okay, you can watch my inner healing, how 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 this 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 thing works. Okay. So the concept of spirit, soul, and body, don't let any teacher mess you up because you will mess up your ability to receive inner healing or to help somebody else, you know, to, to receive inner healing. Okay. Yeah. Your identity is your spirit. You are more than a conqueror, the head and not the tear. You have you are full of power of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Okay, if you want to, you can confess with me. Uh Lord Lord Jesus, I am a spirit being in a human body. I am a spirit with a soul, with a mind, emotion, will. And I live in my physical body. I have my my mind, my soul, my soul is my consciousness. It is saved by renewing the mind according to Romans chapter 12 verse 2. And I have a spiritual heart. Thank you Jesus for giving me a new spirit. Okay, for those who do not have a new new uh, heart, uh, those who never never pray this prayer, okay, Ezekiel 36, 26 I will give you a new heart and I put a new spirit within you okay take away a heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh okay Lord Jesus give me a new heart Lord Jesus give me a new heart I need a new heart a heart that loves you a heart that can love you take away my heart of stone take away my heart of stone and give me a new spiritual heart a heart a new heart that is sensitive to your spirit a heart that is one heart with you a heart that loves you a heart a heart that desire what you desire and hate what you hate hate sins a heart that hates sins give me a new heart lord jesus i receive thank you jesus okay so if you understand this okay wrong understanding of of uh, sorry wrong understanding of your uh, your your spirit soul and body okay makes you very hard to understand and then you can you then, then when pastors say oh you're all sinners saved by grace you don't you you cannot you become confused and then you agree with him okay but you have to know that you are very very holy because of holy spirit inside you okay you are very holy sin consciousness blocks healing divine healing okay and and you cannot be delivered if you are sin conscious you are supposed to be righteousness conscious okay righteousness conscious because jesus has taken away your sins and give you his righteousness okay and the holy spirit the spirit of sanctification is inside you inside your spirit okay the spirit of sanctification is inside you you are very holy because of holy spirit is in you okay you understand so you it's not true that you are sinful very sinful okay if you believe that lie you cannot receive divine healing you cannot receive divine healing okay you the truth is according to Colossians 1 22 i didn't put this verse this bible verse Colossians 1 22 because of his death we are made holy blameless and beyond reproach we are holy very holy because of holy spirit okay not because of what we do but because of holy spirit and because we and also we are clothed in his righteousness okay and also the spirit of sanctification is inside us okay that's why we are very holy we, that means we are fighting sin from the position of victory from sin okay so do not be sin conscious okay sin conscious uh, uh okay let's let's confess this if you want to uh, lord jesus i thank you that because of you because of your finished work i am clothed in your righteousness and and also i am also very very holy 
blameless and beyond reproach and I'm fighting sin from a position of victory from sin thank you Jesus thank you Jesus okay okay uh, my teaching my slides says uh, I, I have come to, my, to the end of my teaching and uh, right now if you want to ask any questions uh, best is to type on the chat lah. so talking is a bit hard uh, okay um, let me see how okay I, I, I let you unmute yourself if you want to I let you unmute yourself uh, first come first serve I hope that I hope it will not be so messy and confusing uh, okay uh, anyone want to ask me any question you have to show your camera then I can answer you any questions any questions no questions nobody has any questions or are you too confused to ask no questions okay uh, okay feel free to uh, uh, text me uh, if you have questions okay I my number my number uh, should I uh, okay I, I think I will stop the recording <laughs>